Hi guys, I'm back today with a letterbox love, um, which is a new um, blog post host for like um, everything that you get at the end of the week to show other books and like things that people have sent you in the past week or so. And this has been hosted by Navigly Nav Nav Speaking. So yeah, it's a really, it's really cool new blog posting where at the end of the week you know say what stuff you got in the mail or whatever so yeah i got five things this week um first thing i got which i've already read was obsidian and this is by jennifer l amante and there's a big massive rave going on about this book so far um in the blog in internet history or whatever everyone is going on about this book and i have read it and it is absolutely amazing i um I did actually think when I first started the book, like, what is the obsession with this book? But when you read the end of the book, it is so, so good. So you have to read the end to know what actually happens. But it is really good. And, yeah, love Damon. He's awesome. So, yeah, go read the book. It is really good if you haven't already read it. Then I went to the work and I got the pledge. And this is only $1.99 in the works, um, which is a UK kind of like a bookshop, a little small bookshop and yeah it's only one ninety nine so I was really grateful for that because I was gonna buy it on the book depository the week before so something like something like five pounds something so I'm really happy that I didn't do that because I did do that with another book before and yeah it really sucks when you can get books cheap for a different price when you've already bought it it's more expensive so yeah. The next three books are summer books, more summer reads because I'm trying to get into my reading summer books this year and try to read as many summer books as I can in the summer. So yeah, I'm going to show you what they are. I've got Jersey Angel by Beth Ann Bowman. I haven't heard a lot about this. So yeah, so I haven't, can't really say a lot on it because there's not like, there's no blogs or whatever on it. So yeah, it'll be quite good to be interesting to see what this is actually about. Then I got In Honour. I've heard a little bit about this which is by Jessie Kirby. I've heard um, that you need tissues um, by the side because in the park it can be quite sad but this is about a girl who goes on a road trip with a boy who has a brother who dies and he has these messages to go to certain places or something and she decides to do this on the road trip and along with his best friend. Um, yeah, so there's a bit of romance in there as well. And I've heard that's quite good. And then the last one I got, which is by Morgan Matson, and it's the second chance summer. And this is to do with about a girl who goes back to her. She goes back to her summer house. Um, so she hasn't seen a friend or ex-boyfriend for a while because her dad's. I think her dad's ill. I'm not actually sure which one, but her dad. I think her dad has cancer. I'm not that sure. But yeah, so yeah, this looks like a really cute summer read as well. I have got Morgan Matson's other book, which is Amy Rogers Epic Detour, and that book is, oh my god, that book is so amazing. That's, that's the reason I got this book in the first place. So yeah, there were just five books this week. I have got a few more books that I did buy, but um, I've got this thing now where every book that comes in the post, I'm not going to open it now until the end of the month because I just want those packages stacking up. Um, but the thing is, if I open, you know, books that come from like Amazon or whatever, when I open them, I tend to like forget about my other books that I'm on the shelf, so I don't read them because they're just stacking up. Whereas if I leave them in the packages, I'm more likely going to read the books on my bookshelf. So yeah, a bit of a cool idea you guys can do for kind of like stacking them, up, stacking up on books and getting more books that you don't know what to read. So yeah, that is just my um, letterbox love for you this week. What did you get in your letterbox?